Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, I am Stan the Movie Man, and this is my WIMZ.com movie review for June 2019. This month, I went to see Shaft. It stars Samuel L. Jackson, Jesse T. Usher, Usher uh, Regina Hall, um, Alexandra Shipp, Richard Roundtree, and more. It is the story of J.J. John Shaft Jr., played by Jesse T. Usher, when a friend of his dies from an apparent drug overdose, um, John Jr. has questions, and he's unprepared to hit the streets and get answers. Even though he works for the FBI, he's not an agent exactly, he works uh, in the technology side. He's a, a, an intelligence analyst and he's very good with computers. So he does what he does not want to do. He goes and asks his father, John Shaft, uh, played by Samuel L. Jackson. Um, they begin an investigation to look into his uh, friend's death and they stumble into what could be a giant uh, drug cartel operation that has ties to Shaft's past and is the reason uh, he and Maya, uh, Regina Hall, the reason uh, John Shaft, sort of senior, and uh, John's mother, Maya, played by Regina Hall, uh, broke up years ago. Uh, and uh, there also are some possible romantic feelings between the young Shaft and a, uh, a doctor who is a friend from school, Sasha, played by Alexandra Shipp. Um, the investigation into his friend's death gets him in trouble with his boss at the uh, FBI, Special Agent Vietti, played by Titus Walver, and um, John Jr. has to figure out how to conduct this investigation and try to uh, deal with his feelings about his father abandoning him when uh, John was just a baby and only appearing very briefly and usually only by sending presents on holidays and birthdays. Um, and we also get an appearance by the original John Shaft, Richard Browntree, but that happens late in the movie. Um, there are things about this movie that are enjoyable. It has a, a lighter sense about it. It isn't uh, a dark and gritty uh, film, uh, but I, that may also be one of the problems. This struck me as kind of a, a, a dramedy that you might see on TV, a, a detective dramedy, uh, hour long. And it only has about enough story for an hour, even though it is longer. Um, and the film seems to fall back on and rely on crude humor as uh, a crutch to get them through scenes. There is a lot of talk about women's bodies and sex and things of that nature. Now, I personally don't have a problem with that, uh, but all of this, all of the crudeness in the film seems like it's just a, a spackle covering up the holes in the story and getting them from point A to point B within a scene. It, it just, it, it feels cheap and juvenile and everybody on screen deserves better than the movie Shaft, which is the third film to have that name. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson starred in a reboot of Shaft um, uh, several years ago, and of course the original starring Richard Roundtree. Um, but uh, this version is kind of uh, unnecessary. It feels like it was slapped together perhaps as a an effort to cash in on nostalgia for the original film. Uh, having Richard Roundtree in the film, um, 
uh, I don't know, feels kind of cheap, and clearly any stunt he's involved in, because in the final fight in the film, uh, the senior shaft is, uh, is in it. Uh, all of that stuff clearly was shot so that his face wouldn't be shown since he probably would be unable to do anything. Even Samuel L. Jackson is like 70 years old now, so, um, anyway, uh, it's, it's just a really kind of, um, thin and cheap and not terribly interesting. It has a few moments of humor. Um, but I'm not sure it's worth sitting through the whole thing for a couple of laughs. I didn't really much care for the 2019 version of Shaft, and I'm giving it two guitars. Go to WIMZ.com in the blog section to read my complete review for Shaft. Check out my weekly reviews at StanTheMovieMan.com. Follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. And if you'd like to, send me an email. Stan the Movie Man 123 at gmail.com. Till next time. Later.